Back here on TYT Sports, locked out here in beautiful Culver City, California. Rich Strong with you. There is a lot of news that has broke today in the soccer slash footy world, especially in Europe, out of the new camp in Barcelona. Uh, I'm going to say this in the most American way possible. Gerardo Tata Martino, or if you want to be somewhat European about it, Spanish about it, Gerardo, maybe, Tata Martino. Tell me how that was in the comments. I'm working on it. He's 50 years old. He made one appearance, one appearance for the Argentine national team. He is a, a former attacking midfielder. He has coached uh, a wide array of teams as well as the men they call Tata. Now, we thought Luis Enrique, at least I did, was going to get the job as manager because Tito Villanova decided to resign last week, late last week, after, unfortunately, another reoccurrence of cancer. So uh, Villanova is out and Tata is in. Now, Ruby, of course, is just probably going to be pushed aside. Hopefully, he gets some sort of role with Barcelona. But we're talking about Martino. He is reunited with Lionel Messi. That's some big news and some good news uh, from his days with Newell's old boys. Messi said, I like Tata Martino. He is a great coach, and he showed that uh, in the Clausura, tell me if that's right, with what he did for the team, the way it ended, and how he did it. He gets his teams playing well, and we all respect him. We thought that Malaga also offered a deal to Tata, but apparently uh, that did not work out. Another one in the running was Ernesto Valverde. Now, for Martino since 1998, I told you he coached a wide, wide array of teams. The number is 10. He's also the South, it was the South African, uh, South American Coach of the Year in 2007. So now I asked you guys to chime in on the lovely medium of Twitter. So here we go with that. Schweini31 tweets Eric Schramm. Not much coaching experience in Europe. He can build on a style unique to Barca, but critics will blame Messi if all goes wrong. I completely disagree. They're going to blame Tata if anything goes wrong. Voodoo Music. Who the fuck is Gerardo Martino? Well, hopefully you know now. Sef Nazar tweets Eric Strom, Barca will still be a tough opponent, but La Liga, the La Liga title will be Madrid's this season. A la Madrid. Jan Falzon tweets Eric Strom, well, given how good Barca's squad is, I don't think getting good results is difficult for any manager. That could be true. Ivan tweets Eric Strom, Martino is a great manager. We had him in Paraguay during the last World Cup and nearly beat Spain. Mohamed Gold tweets Eric Strom, I personally think a manager like Gerardo Martino is going to struggle at Barcelona since he doesn't have a good experience with big clubs. From the above, he is going to struggle with making the right decisions. There is going to be balancing issues. JCM tweets Eric Strom. He is uh, comparable with the same tactic that uh, Marcelo Bielsa uh, uses, so I think it is a good move for Barca. Hashtag Visca Barca. I think the big question is, if all goes wrong, is he going to be blamed? As Schweine indicated, it's going to be messy. I completely disagree. It's going to fall on the manager. Oh, new manager comes in. Messi was injured last year, but he was still good last year. They were certainly, uh, they, they won La Liga, so he was good. Oh, he's not scoring goals. Well, you know, it has to be Tata's fault. He's the one. At least that's what I think is going to happen. A big, uh, other big question is how exactly is he going to fare trying to nurture and coach uh, the great Neymar? So what do you think? Leave a thought in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and most importantly, help me out and subscribe to TYT Sports.